comply, there will be consequences. Fred. All right, Daniela Diaz, thank you so much for that. All right, joining me right now, former Nixon White House counsel and CNN contributor John Dean. Uh, John, so good to see you. I mean, your reaction now you. to the fact that there is an indictment, uh, that Bannon is expected to uh, appear on Monday. How does this perhaps impact this ongoing probe involving the January 6th committee? Does it give them now some teeth as they continue forward? It, it certainly does. It, it means you, you can't ignore a subpoena. But, uh, Fred, the statute under which uh, Bannon was indicted has two parts. Mm -hmm. One is willful default, which is what Bannon did. He just didn't even show, didn't mm -hmm. make an effort. Yeah, through his attorney, he just said, I'm not, I'm not coming. But the statute has another part that says... Also, you can, be in uh, you can be indicted if you fail to answer pertinent questions. So you just can't play with a committee, show up, and then stonewall it. Uh, you have to have a le very legitimate privilege. Uh, otherwise, you too can be uh, held in contempt for f refusal to comply with the committee. So there, this does send a deep message into the, uh, the ranks of the Trump people who think they could just brush this off, and that's not going to happen. So you're saying if he finally appears and he says, I'm going to plead the fifth to everything. Uh, that's okay. You, it's, it's okay. You can. Uh, but if you, if you go in and say, listen, I'm just not going to talk about anything. I'm not going to take any privilege. Uh, I just don't want to talk. Then you can be indicted for uh, failure to respond to pertinent questions. Mm -hmm. You have to have a legitimate privilege. All right. Well, even though he's now facing this indictment, I, I, he has signposted a lot uh, previously. Just listen to what he had to say the day before the January 6th riot. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. Just understand this. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. It's not going to happen like you think it's going to happen. Okay? It's going to be quite extraordinarily different. And all I can say is strap in. The war room, a posse, you have made this happen, and tomorrow it's game day. So strap in. So he's foreshadowing in a really big way. So what could his defense possibly be now when asked about uh, his culpability, uh, the White House's culpability, the planning uh, to know that the consequence is going to be as great as he just um, shared? Fred, I think Steve Bannon is somebody who probably quietly last night celebrated his indictment. Why? Uh, he's somebody who... Well, he, he wants to take on and destroy the administrative state or democracy. This is one of his campaigns. Uh, this is a sort of issue that he can attract a lot of people to his podcast. Uh, he can play the victim. Uh, so I think, he, you know, he'll be happy to take on a year in prison to draw more attention to this. So uh, that's how I suspect he'll play this, that he's proud of it. It's not unlike from Watergate era, uh, Gordon Liddy, who uh, was the person who refused to testify under any circumstances. He, too, was indicted by uh, several committees of Congress for refusal to, to actually take the oath. Not, not, he couldn't not appear because he was in prison and the Bureau of Prisons delivered him, but he wouldn't take the oath. So uh, this kind of behavior, uh, some people want to draw attention to their thinking and their philosophy. So when, when you compare and contrast uh, your approach during the Watergate investigation, uh, and you were working in the White House at the time, and, and then you did uh, testify uh, to all that you knew against the sitting president. Contrast that to Steve Bannon, no longer working in the White House at the time of the insurrection or even the planning or whatever led up to it. And then you think of Mark Meadows, now the former chief of staff, but chief of staff at the time. I mean, what do you think is going through the mind of a Mark Meadows um, versus what was going through your mind at the time and why you did what you did at the time of the Watergate investigation? Well, I, I must say I thank John Harwood of CNN the other night. I mm -hmm. caught him uh, right after I appeared when I addressed this section, uh, this, this subject. Uh, Harwood very clearly remembers the tapes where I thought 
it was wrong what we were doing, and that was recorded, that I actually sought out the prosecutors and the committee because it was just wrong, and it had to end. So my whole mentality was very different than Meadows or Bannon's, mm -hmm. uh, who seemed to think there's nothing wrong with what they were doing, or indeed it's behavior that they want to encourage. So I was 180 degrees away, Fred, mm -hmm. and I thought these were things that should be known and should be stopped. Right. And at the same time, I mean, for a Mark Meadows, who is a former congressman, and for him to even defy or show that he has no respect for this uh, committee uh, as a part of, of Congress and sub this subpoena or expectation of testifying and that he is sending the message of not respecting uh, Congress, I, that's pretty extraordinary. I think that he, his lawyers will be back in touch with the committee, <clears throat> if not over the weekend, certainly on Monday morning, given the different circumstances that now apply. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he wants to uh, encourage a criminal indictment. He's a, he has a law license. Uh, I think he has political ambition. So I think he'll play this a little differently. And indeed, this could force some of these people to testify mm -hmm. and end this charade that they are ignoring this investigation or pretending like what happened on January 6th wasn't serious mm -hmm. and not a really serious problem that has to be addressed. Mm. All right, John Dean, uh, thank you so much. Always enjoy your perspective. Thanks, Appreciate Fred. it. All right, coming up, uh, the homicide trial of Kyle Rittenhouse is in the final stages, but a critical decision for...